This is the hardest, most difficult, most up and down thing I've ever, ever done in my entire life. But fear not, for I shall show you the way. <laughs> so I've been told that I have a bit of a unhealthy obsession with Hell's Kitchen, but between you and me, governor, it's absolute bollocks. Because it really isn't even that serious, bro, I swear. That, those aren't mine. Yeah, um, r remind me again why you still have those posters? Is it just a little bit of good luck? Like, you know, as the straight man that you claim to be, claim. it's just, you know, a little odd to have Gordon Ramsay just plastered over the corner of your room. I'm gonna need all the luck that I can get if I'm gonna win Hell's Kitchen. Wait, hold on. Hell's Kitchen? You're competing? You never told me you were competing in Hell's Kitchen. I mean, you didn't really seem that interested, so I, I just assumed that you didn't care. No. What? You know, as, as a matter of fact, I have brought it up to you and you've actually completely ignored me, Bro, so. That, that's, that doesn't even sound yeah, like seriously, you, no, yeah, I, I tried like a, a, a couple on. times actually. No. No, that's just ridiculous. I care about everything. You I mean, okay, yeah, all right, then be honest with me. Do you actually genuinely care when I bring things up to you then? No, but this is Hell's Kitchen we're talking about. This is huge, my guy. Yeah, it is pretty big, huh? That's what oh, she God. said. Hmm? Oh, oh yeah, that's just that's just Goobly. Just, just ignore him. He kind of just sits in the corner, you know, says that's what she says whenever he has the opportunity. He likes to do that. It's kind of like his thing, but um, he's completely harmless. He's just doing what Goobly does. <laughs> God, I love that mother. <laughs> oh. Okay. Anyways, so let me see if I'm if I'm understanding this. You spent God knows how much time calculating and figuring out how you can actually win Hell's Kitchen, a show that hasn't aired in almost two years now. I'm pretty confident too. I've been watching a lot of Hell's Kitchen, and I genuinely think that I know how to win this game now. And if it weren't for season nine of Hell's Kitchen, I, I don't even think I would be competing. But somehow you're still struggling to find a job. Yeah, that's uh, that that, that that's exactly what I'm saying. Hell's Kitchen is like no other reality show that I've come across like ever. And honestly, I'm not really like into like drama television, but literally I know that it, all it took was for Hollywood to dangle food in front of me and all of a sudden I am just obsessed with reality TV. That probably has to be the fattest I have ever said. Seriously though, who would have thought that a cooking show of all things would have been this great of an idea? No, I've tried watching Kitchen Nightmares and MasterChef and you know the other like spin-off shows and whatever, but they, they, just, they don't hit quite like Hell's Kitchen does. Now I know you're probably wondering, out of all the shows that could ever exist, why Hell's Kitchen and uh, <sighs> Listen, I, I, I know what I'm about to say is it's gonna be a little bit of a of an S-class glaze, but honestly, uh, freak it. Gordon Ramsay is the greatest human being that ever graced this planet Earth. All this D1, y'all can call this glazing. This nigga's different. This man in this show straight up changed my life. Before Hell's Kitchen, my, my best afternoon meal was a box of Cocoa Pebbles and Gatorade, bro. You can't survive off of that. After watching and slowly just, just, just peeping how these chefs would move and cook, bro, I've been able to chef up some of the most delectable meals I have ever cooked in my life without even practicing any cooking skills in the kitchen. And maybe that's just a me thing, but you know, if so, then I can genuinely say I've just built different. Bro, I was even able to nail cooking a risotto on my first try. Okay, my second try. All right, my third try. But listen, bro, I cooked risotto. I'm black. Black people don't cook risotto. Do you see how revolutionary this show is? The passion and drive that I see watching Gordon Ramsay and the contestants cook on the show is very inspirational at times. And after clocking in over 2,000 hours, watching these beasts compete head to head in a kitchen, I actually started seeing a pattern that was very repetitive some might say <laughs> but the one season and the one person that helped me realize this was none other than season nine hell's kitchen contestant elise oh my god the mere sight of carrie irritation dang back up off my arm dog you're a trifling ass bitch are you kidding me i'm about to show you bitch everyone you don't take have to yell at me i'm right you better yeah. get out of my face blah 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 Stop i know that face. calm down I am calm, I'm just saying that. Yeah, you're always well, talking like back to me, and you don't need to talk back to me. You're so fucking disrespectful. Elise had the mindset. She is what it means to be a winner. Your mouth gets wait, us wait, in wait, trouble wait, wait, every wait. service, that's why. Yes, I have a big mouth. The person I bicker with the most here is Carrie. 
And if we're both up for elimination, why wouldn't you just want to cut the bickering and keep on winning? Because I'm a fucking winner. And I'll sit here and say that all day. Am I modest? No, because I know what I've been through. I know where I came from, and I know how I started in this shit. And I'm not going to stop now. They just woke the sleeping giant. Watch out now. Like I said, I learned a valuable lesson tonight. What was the lesson? Bring it on. She was probably one of the most hated contestants on the show. They tried to vote her off so many times, but it just did not work. If you had to drop Elise or Carrie, who would you drop? Elise. 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 And the trash talking, bro. Elise would talk the most shit. However, the woman could back it up, bro. The colors pop. They really do. It's like it could come from a restaurant kitchen. Whose idea was it? It was my idea, chef. I have yet to come across another season that has a contestant with this type of shit talking and still uphold that underdog energy, bro. And that same energy is something that I've noticed can really take you far in the competition. I've seen some trash escape getting voted off because they just had that it factor about their attitude. Holy. Say goodbye to Devon. Wow. You are not ready for a black jacket. So right off the back, if I'm gonna win Hell's Kitchen, bro, I gotta have that sort of mindset attitude, that approach. Now see, if you're passionate, but you haven't watched Hell's Kitchen or binge watched it uh, to an obsessive degree like me, uh, then you probably realistically don't really know how to cook anything. And in that case, well then, Buddy, pack it up. Hey, you're not going to Vegas. I'm sorry. Give me your jacket. Get the hell out. Maybe the McDonald's across the street is hiring. So I told her it's not even crabs. It's just a little bit of chlamydia. Get over it. <laughs> like, seriously. Hey. Hey. Hey, bro. Bro, bro, you need a job? Because cause we're hiring. Yeah, I don't know if, like, you want some extra cash? No, I'm good. No, seriously, like, like we pay good, bro. Like, to be honest, I don't really think I want to work here. Please, bro. Please. I, I'll give you anything, bro. Please, please just apply, bro. I, I, you, you like cars? You can have my cars right over there. Wait, seriously? <laughs> Yo, really? A Lamborghini? That, that, that's, that's really generous, dude. Thank you. I, I mean, sure. Nah, nah, it's the one next to it. So what do you say? I'm gonna catch y'all. Where, where um, you going? My guy, where you going? So here's the plan. Hell's Kitchen has a very familiar pattern with the dishes that they serve on the show. And I'm referring to the dishes only served during live service, excluding the cooking challenges and the other junk. There are pretty much three main things that you just gotta focus on for real. There's fish, meats, and garnish. These three general categories, if mastered, bro, I promise you, you're not losing Hell's Kitchen. Like, if you still lose, then you're missing a chromosome or something, bro. And the most common food items across the board, bro, from my experience, has always been scallops, lobsters, shrimp, New York shrimp, ribeye, and filet temperatures. And it would be preferred if you knew your temperatures by touch alone, because you see, a good chef must love handling his meat in his hands. <laughs> What? Well, no, nothing. Something funny? No, 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 just continue. Cause you're laughing like I, I said something funny. No, no, it's, it's fine, I, I swear. Okay. Anyways. So boom. Now one of the easiest stations seems to be the garden station. So I'm not gonna really dive too deep into that because the only main critiques that I've seen come out of that station is that things are just under seasoned or um, too salty. So easy fix, just like taste the freaking food, bro. Like it's not that difficult. Up next is the menu itself. It's pretty common season to season. The live service menu usually has some sort of risotto. So just learning how to cook risotto, I mean, you'll be perfectly fine. I've only really ever seen like lobster or mushroom risotto, you know, make it to the past. So then you also have your rack of lamb, New York strip or beef Wellington. These haven't seemed to have changed ever, and I'm like 17 seasons in, so it's safe to say that it, it'll probably never change. And then every now and then they'll have pork on the menu as well. Without fail, every service almost always has scallops on the menu, and, and scallops is probably the easiest thing to cook, but for some reason everybody keeps messing it up. I've even seen Gordon Ramsay teach these dudes hands on how to cook them, bro. 30 seconds each side, and for some reason, brothers just cannot follow the memo. Everyone struggles the most on the meat, fish, and app station, and usually when you mess up on either of these proteins stations or the appetizer stations for like risotto the outcome is it's usually the same so for the past three weeks i set out to do all these things i studied my butt off cooking and mastery some of the most challenging dishes on the show and cultivating the most creative visually stunning pieces of culinary art and that is why i believe i have what it takes to win hell's kitchen which is precisely what i'm sitting out to do i dramelli shall be winning hell's kitchen live on air come on guys please come here chef on your right, Chef.
Oh, no. It's raw. Hey, come here. What? What's up? Who cooked these scallops? If I don't get a straight answer, I'm going to kick you out. I, 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 I cooked it, chef. Wow. So you cooked them? I, I, I don't know what happened. I, I, I guess I just got flustered. The cameras, they were just everywhere, and I just... Cameras? Come here, you. Come in. Uh, well, look at me. Look, just look at me in the fucking eyes. Fuck the camera. Unfold your fucking arms now. And don't give me a fucking scallop unless it's cooked perfectly. You get it? I, 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 look at me. Oh. And fuck the attitude. Cook it or fuck off. Oh, good. Okay. Good. If I hear you talk about a fucking camera one more time, I'll stick a GoPro up your ass so you can see how shit you are. Got it? Fucking idiots. Why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? Well, you see, Chef, I believe that. Why is the music playing? Like. Like, I just got booted off or something. What, what, what the hell is going on? Gordon, it's like that? Ramsey, it's like that? I, I, I didn't even plead my case yet. You about to send me home? Give me a jacket. What do you, what do you mean, give you a jacket? I, I'm not giving you anything. It's because I'm black, isn't it? Huh? If my skin color isn't it, you don't want a black man running your shop in Vegas. That's what Get it out is. Of hell's That's what it is. You guys just, you, you just, you just gotta sit there and let this man be prejudiced against me. Gordon, you know, matter of fact, f you, Gordon. How about that? How about you and you're not getting the jacket back, all right? I think he made a huge mistake. Hey, go, go to Ramsey, at least, because you, you at least gave me like a, like a sweater or something. It's mad cold out here, GM. It's all good, though. So I'm going to be back next year, and I'm going to shoot this entire...